I'm a full-time game developer creating indie games for just about every platform out there, making more than enough income to support my family and my studio, all while using Unity. But here's the thing, my entire career has been focused on 2D games, which are best made in Unity. Now I'm making a 3D game called Twisted Tower in Unity, wishlist below, and the growing pains are real. At first, while making little concept scenes, I was impressed by how easy making gorgeous 3D games in Unity was. But the moment you try to make something a bit bigger, designed with lower performance platforms like Nintendo Switch in mind, everything starts to get way more complicated in Unity. From real-time lighting performance issues to LODs, we'll talk about that in a second, Unity is, quite frankly, falling behind. So I reached the tipping point last week. Should I abandon my 10 years of Unity knowledge for Unreal? Like, there's thousands of reasons why you might choose Unreal or Unity. Real quick, let's just knock a few of those out of the equation. Sure, sure, Unreal's visual scripting blueprint is pretty awesome. It basically allows babies to program C++, but I'm not a baby, I'm a mature adult. And would you look at that? Unity has their own visual scripting, so. I mean, who cares at this point? Unity also has incredible documentation and way more tutorials on Google and YouTube. But Thomas, this doesn't have anything to do with production for professionals. No, but it really does. See, I've been making games for 10 years. I think I'm classified as a professional and I still spend about 30% of my time Googling solutions while making my games in Unity. Finally, there's this idea going around that Unreal looks better than Unity. This isn't necessarily true for indie games, frankly, because if you're trying to use these features to make an Unreal game look better, you're kind of making a AAA game, and that's a mistake if you're an indie. Ultimately, what separates Unity and Unreal is basically a thousand variables that may or may not be relevant for your particular game, until now. Introducing Unreal 5, the Unity killer, maybe. See, if you're an indie making a 3D game, Unreal wasn't really a big deal because, frankly, features were geared towards AAA studios. You'd use Unreal to make your game look realistic with lighting and a ton of foliage, blah, blah, blah. But for me, I didn't really consider it because I was making a stylized 3D game with small scenes. But I've begun brainstorming my next 3D game and it involves an open world. No, that doesn't mean it's gonna be hyper-realistic or super complicated, but what if I simply want to explore a beautiful open world with real-time lighting? This is where Unreal 5 is so enticing. With Unreal 5, there's this new tech called Called Nanite. Nanite basically auto-generates LODs, which are levels of detail. See, in Unity, they're made from scratch. You have a tree, for example, and as the player moves away from the tree, the 3D artist needs to create varying levels of detail just for increased performance. See, the alternative here is occlusion culling, which basically culls out mesh data only if it's hidden from the camera. But what about scenes like this one? Yeah, all those objects need LODs, but with Unreal's Nanite technology, it's done automatically. So what's the catch? Well, there's one, and we'll talk about it in just a second. Okay, so what's Unity doing about this? Are they trying to compete? From the research I've done, it doesn't seem like they really care at the moment. There's this code on GitHub from Unity called Auto LOD, but the last commit was more than a year ago. So is making the switch to Unreal for Nanite worth it? The truth is you shouldn't really care about Nanite if you're making small 3D games or games that are primarily interior with a low, I don't know, visual field where objects can just be culled out entirely. For example, in my game Twisted Tower, 99% of the game is interior. So Nanite isn't relevant at all. But my next game, which is open world, Nanite is incredibly tempting. Secondly, there's this thing called Lumen in Unreal. Lumen is pretty awesome. Basically, it's real-time global illumination. It just makes your scene look gorgeous. It's why this scene with just a simple set of planes and cubes for some reason looks real. A single light source will create bounced lighting, diffusing and filling in the shadows, and adding that extra oomph that Unity just doesn't have. Well, actually it does. Yay, it's called Enlighten. Oh, okay, well, hold on a minute. Enlighten isn't as simple to use as Lumen. See, Enlighten is a tool that adds diffused lighting, but it's primarily focused on baked 
Lighting. Additionally, surprise, surprise, Unity is throwing out Enlighten entirely, which seems to be a habit of Unity. They take on a new mistress, I mean feature, randomly, and then they throw it out when they've gotten what they wanted. It's a huge issue I have with Unity, the constant adoption and then abandonment of features, not to mention the failure to adapt those features to their three, yes, three render pipelines, and how do you choose which one you want to use? I'm not even going to get into that. So do indies need loot? Lumen. Probably not, at least for now. And that's because as an indie, I want to sell my games on every platform. If I'm competing with AAA and I'm also competing with other indie game developers, I want as much income as possible from as many platforms as possible. For example, if Apple reaches out and says they want to buy my game for Apple Arcade, if my game relies heavily on Lumen and Nanite to look beautiful, I'm screwed. And this wouldn't be the first time Apple Arcade actually changed my life with an offer like this. I wouldn't want to miss that opportunity again. And what about Nintendo 64? Uh, sorry, I mean Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I bet you Lumen will not run well on Switch. Porting to Switch is very similar to porting to mobile. It's best to just strip real-time lighting from your game altogether, if you can, for performance. For example, my buddy David Whaley had to use invisible rectangles to cast shadows for his trees on Nintendo Switch because the hardware could not handle real-time lighting of foliage. So am I going to switch to Unreal? Probably not. Firstly, because I just know Unity. I've got 10 years of experience. According to this random article I found on Google, the most efficient language is Gujarati. I, I don't know how to say that. Gujarati. Switching to Unreal is kind of like, I don't know, Westerners abandoning English for Gujarati. Sure, English is ridiculous. For example, there's a million ways that they're going to spell there, but there's just so many years that they've been using there in their country. Unity, along with its documentation and extensive community, is kind of the same. Secondly, although Lumen and Nanite might be a perfect solution for my open world game idea, I'm not even sure it's going to run on Nintendo Switch. My guess is no, because according to Unreal's own documentation, Nanite is currently supported on PlayStation 5, Xbox, and PCs with high-end graphics cards. See, did you see any reference to it running on a toaster? No, me neither. Finally, I'm going to make a gamble here. I think Unity will compete just fine when they feel like they need to. A Lumen and Nanite competitor will likely come out for Unity. Here's why. Unity is still the dominant software. They're going to do what they want, when they want because they have the market share and wherewithal to do it. According to external labs, Unity has a user base of 2.7 billion people, whereas Unreal has 7 million. Unity has a market share of 43%, and Unreal has a share of 13%. This doesn't mean one is better than the other, it just means Unity has power. They'll be fine, and they're gonna release what we need when we really need it. That's just my opinion. Leave a comment below if you disagree, I would love to hear it. So I'm gonna keep making games with Unity, and I won't be surprised when a Lumen or Nanite alternative appears just when I need it. It's not that it won't be challenging and have its issues, it's just that I'm not gonna shift to Unreal right now for something shiny. I'll say it though, I do think Unreal is better in so many ways, but I'm gonna stick to English, McDonald's, Bud Light, and Unity, because that's what I'm used to.